Hey guys, so in this video, I'm gonna talk about finding seasonal work camping jobs. So I'm just hanging out down here at Fiesta Island in San Diego, California. It's an awesome area where you can pull up right on the sand with your rig. As you can see, there's a big fifth wheel over here, another Class C over here. So I'm just parked right here in the sand. Uh, gonna crawl in the van here and talk about uh, finding seasonal work camping jobs. Okay, so when it comes to seasonal jobs or work camping jobs, uh, there is, you know, the, the term work camping just kind of gets thrown around a lot, but there's a lot of variation that can go on within uh, different types of work camping jobs. Typically that word is used for a job that has a campsite included that's either paid for or discounted or sometimes even it's just a, a job that has a campground near it where you still have to pay the normal campground fee. Um, so there's a lot of uh, little variations that can go within jobs that are kind of labeled as work camping jobs. There's also work camping jobs that are non-paying. You basically just get a free campsite and then you were required to do some volunteer work, a certain amount of hours of volunteer work to give you that free campsite. Now those type of jobs for somebody like me are really no good because I need an income. Um, I can sleep in my van on public street, streets. I'm not looking for a free campsite. Uh, but for a lot of maybe retired folks or people that have a check coming in or are living on Social Security, just having a free campsite and something to do for a few hours a day is a desirable position. So those kind of work camping jobs are desirable for some people. Other work camping jobs where you may have, like I know in Yellowstone, a lot of the concessionaire jobs, you get paid uh, a wage for your hours worked, uh, but your campsite is only discounted. And a lot of times it's a pretty good discount, like something like $30 a week, um, which compared to their normal prices is a really good deal. And even jobs like that aren't my top choice because I'm looking for jobs where there's no expense involved as far as the camping because I'm so used to being able to free camp out of my van anyway. So uh, some of the other work camping jobs like at resorts and that um, they will maybe even have like a dorm set up where you work the job and then you have like a dormitory type situation where you're still paying a small fee for that dormitory setup um, and that's either taken out of your paycheck or it's something you just have to pay per week. Um, once again, not the most ideal job for me. When I think work camping, I'm thinking a job with a paid wage and a free campsite. Those are the type of work camping jobs I'm looking for, although there are only so many of those. Uh, campground host jobs a lot of times will be that way. They'll either be part-time working hours with a free campsite or even full-time working hours with a free campsite. And that's the kind of job that I really am looking for. So I'm going to get into some of the ways that you can go about finding those jobs. Okay, a good way to go about finding the availability and finding out about work camping or seasonal jobs is at RV shows. A lot of RV shows are not only trying to sell RVs and RV related products, but they also will sometimes have a job fair section where representatives from campgrounds, state parks, and such like that, they will be there uh, trying to recruit people for seasonal and work camping jobs. That's a great place to find out, for one, just the name of all these different companies and concessionaires and all the different options that are out there. Okay, so the best way I've found to go about finding jobs, seasonal jobs and work camping jobs, is to just use Google. Use the internet, it's a powerful tool, and the way I go about it is, is instead of just Googling something general like work camping jobs or seasonal jobs, you can do that and some results will come up. A lot of times you'll get directed to stuff like Work Camper News, which is a paid subscription service where you become a member and they'll notify you of available work camping jobs. That's an option for me. I'm not going to pay somebody to look for jobs for me. I would rather just on my own seek out the jobs and not have to pay somebody. So the way I go about Googling and trying to find these jobs online is to start by a location. And for me, I start with a location that I want to go to, somewhere that I want to travel to, that in route from where I'm 
wherever I'm coming from, I'll be able to see places that I want to see and travel to anyway, and the destination is somewhere that I want to be and see, and then hopefully be able to find a job in one of those destinations. And the way I go about that is, is to just Google that state or an area within the state. Say, we'll use Utah as an example. You can uh, Google State Parks Utah, and usually you'll get directed to the official government state website, and in that website, they'll have listed all the state campgrounds and a lot of time even private campgrounds and some of those websites will have a direct link to employment opportunities but often you'll have to click on the individual links to those specific campgrounds or resorts or whatever it is that's available as travel destinations that that original website is offering usually like a government website is a great place to start for state campgrounds or national parks and then you get redirected to the individual different parks themselves or campgrounds or resorts and when once you go to those official sites for those specific campgrounds or resorts, then usually on those websites you can find a link that is employment opportunities or something of that nature where you can find jobs that are available in that destination that you would like to go to anyway. So not only are you finding work, but you're also finding work in a place that you want to visit anyway. And for me, that's the ideal way to go about this. Okay, so the next step is, of course, now that you've found a job or you've found a location or a seasonal work camping job that looks like something you want to do, don't forget to look into the full details and job description of the job. Just don't jump on the first thing that you're offered because a lot of times, a lot of these job descriptions aren't that detailed. I've heard a lot of stories of people taking like campground host jobs. They're only getting paid 30 hours a week. They get there and their job duties end up being more than they can actually accomplish in the 30 hours and they're having to work more than they're getting paid for it's very frustrating then they either quit prematurely or they abandon the job or they get fired because of uh, disagreements with their employer so I think it's really important to know the job description completely even if you have to do personal questioning of whoever is recruiting you for the job outside of what's just listed on the website know what you're getting yourself into and that it's going to work out for you financially and that you're physically going to be able to carry out the job duties themselves. Okay, so that's really all the information I have to share on this topic. Um, I will say that I think one important thing to do is to really try to think outside the box when looking for jobs like this. Um, you don't have to, you know, pursue jobs that have a free campsite. A lot of times, if you're going to be traveling somewhere and camping and paying for a campground anyway, um, look into jobs that are in the area that may or may not be affiliated with that campground, and you can still use the campground that you would be camping at anyway and just working a job that's nearby or just outside of that campground and that can be a great option and allow you to make some money to not only pay for your campground that you're paying for but also save up a little money to move you on to your next destination so that's kind of how I'm looking at it I'm really just trying to look into all the options out there besides just the big normal like campground host sugar beet harvest and Amazon and hopefully in the future after I build up my resume Resume, I'll be able to really pursue some fun jobs and get a lot more experience and see as many new places as I possibly can. So that's it guys. I'm going to stop there. I hope everyone's doing really good out there and we'll see you in the next video. Take care guys. Peace.